Hi guys, welcome back to Dave's Room. Uh, today i got a movie review for you. Uh, we're going to be talking about I Spit on Your Grave 3. Vengeance is Mine. Which, you know, th th this this uh, movie is classified as the, th the third movie in the uh, franchise, but it's actually the sequel to the first movie uh, in the franchise, and that that first movie being a remake of the original. So this third movie is the sequel to the original remake of the original. Uh, that this, The second movie in the franchise, because, you know, um, I Spit on Your Grave 2, that, that sort of doesn't have anything to do with uh, either I Spit on Your Grave or I Spit on Your Grave 3, Vengeance is Mine. So we'll forget about that one for, for the time being. Uh, I Spit on Your Grave Part 3, Vengeance is Mine, uh, is directed by R.D. Bronstein. Uh, it's written by Daniel Gilboy. And uh, it stars uh, Sarah Butler, who returns from um, I Spit on Your Grave, the original remake of the original. I Spit on Your Grave 3, uh, it's, it starts off with uh, Sarah Butler's character, Jennifer Hills. She is recovering from the events of that first movie where she was traumatized and sexually assaulted and you know she had to basically fight for her life and once like I said since then she's been traumatized she's been having uh, nightmares and just trying to deal with the aftermath of those events so this movie finds her in uh, in, in a counseling group uh, sort of a survivors club type of support group uh, where she meets a woman named Marla, played by Jennifer Landon. Now the two of them, they uh, they become thick as thieves, and uh, Marla, she is out for revenge uh, on the people who, or on the person who attacked her, and Jennifer, she, as far as, uh, and Jennifer, she's up for it too, because, you know, she has a lot of rage, and, and a lot of, uh, you know, she wants vengeance. So, she plays up you know, plays into Marla's plans, and uh, well, when one of the uh, one of the the younger girls in the support group uh, winds up being assaulted by her uh, father or, or stepfather, I can't remember what it was, but maybe stepfather. These two girls hatch a plan, and they go and and they confront this uh, pedophile guy, and well, things quickly get out of control as far as Jennifer is concerned. Marla takes things a little bit to the extreme and uh, Jennifer isn't quite ready to make that jump yet. So as the, as the movie progresses, things, things and events happen that uh, causes Jennifer to... That, that, that rage part of her explodes to life and whoever gets in her way should look out. The more the movie progresses, the more violent and angry Jennifer becomes. So what did I th think about I Spit on Your Grave, Part 3, Vengeance is Mine? I, surprisingly enough, I really liked this movie. I thought it was really well made. Uh, I thought the acting was really good. Uh, I thought Sarah Butler did a great job in the first, in the original remake of the original. She was just as good in this one. And the movie really caught me by surprise, I think. I, you know, a, a part three of, of, a, of a sort of, you know, a direct-to-video uh, type movie, you don't have much hope going in. You know, you're not, you're not really thinking it's... or you're not expecting much, let's put it that way. And this one really surprised me. I was really happy with the movie itself. It kept me interested. It kept me entertained. Um, like I said, everything was on point. Some of the, you know, there were, there were some really violent parts and I know I understand that some of those parts will probably be a little too, a little hard to watch for some people, but it didn't bother me. I like the message that this movie portrayed. It, you know, for being a director video movie, you don't really see a lot of social messages being made. And this one really did uh, encapsulate the, the problem that, the, that society has in terms of young men uh, and old, and some old men, you know, uh, not not every young man is is bad in America, but there are uh, I would say probably the majority of them are. I don't know what it is about this generation that they have no respect for people, no especially young women. Um, but this movie really 
brings that to light and I guess you can look at it as a cautionary tale. How about that? Let's let's talk about it as a cautionary tale. Um, but then again, it also it also portrays the the consequences of somebody taking things a little too far. So you know, it's not totally one one way. Uh, but yeah, so I, I really like this movie. I was surprised by it, and to me, it's more than just a horror movie. It was it was really the social aspect of it and the and the you know grim reality of it helps set this movie higher than I think the standard directed video horror movie. So yeah, I did like uh, I Spit on Your Grave Part Three: Vengeance Is Mine, um, and I give it I would say about for a directed video movie I'd give it four out of five. So don't look at the cover art and just and just take it for what it is. It's much it's much deeper than the cover art. I think it's an important movie that should be seen. So there you have it. That's my review. Like I said, not everybody's going to like it, but I do think it's worth watching. So, all right. That's what I have for you today. Until next time, you guys have a good uh, week and a weekend, and stop by next time. Thanks. Bye.